how to reverse reverb in Logic. Definitely a must know, one of the oldest tricks in the book. Let's get into it. So this vocal thing, I wanna introduce it. The way we're going to do that is with a reverse reverb. So we're gonna click on the track, Command D, then we're gonna copy this, Command Copy, Command V, and we'll end up with a duplicate. I look for the smoothest bit. So if we zoom in, that's pretty bumpy. This part looks pretty smooth. And then if we just play that, that'll be pretty nice to reverse reverb. So what we're gonna do is chuck a any reverb plugin on it and crank it. Go to town with it. Perfect. Then control tap for a right click and we're gonna click bounce in place. Okay, then what you wanna do is pull out the tail. Cool. And then pull in, so cover all this shit. We want to get rid of that. Perfect, like that. And now if we have a listen, we get this. Cool. Now let's right click, reverse on off. If you don't find it there, when you click on clip, go up to here and have a look. You're gonna have a little toggle down here saying reverse. You wanna tick that. Now it's reversed. Now if we have a listen to it. Neat. All right, I like to fade out the end so we don't get that clip or that, uh, what do they call it, a pop. So now if we listen to it, we get this. And that's going before that vocal chop to introduce it. So if we listen to these two now. Awesome. It's really subtle, but it makes a huge difference in the mix. It just sounds more professional. It's more pleasant to the ear. If you're gonna have sounds that are just sort of popping out at you and you want to introduce them nicely, a reverse reverb is one of the best ways to do it. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.